So it seems like we're never going to be able to escape these things now, are we? So first, hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video and also welcome to my first ever video here in Modern Warfare 3. So for this one, I am going to be discussing as well as showcasing how you can unlock the akimbo pistols in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer as well as I'm also going to be talking about how you can unlock the dual wield snake shots because in similar fashion to Modern Warfare 2019 and Modern Warfare 2, snake shots are naturally back. So yeah, let's keep this thing short and straight to the point. Basically, in similar fashion to the previous Modern Warfare games, akimbo is now actually an attachment in Modern Warfare 3, and more specifically is actually a rear grip attachment. As you can see, we have a Kimbo. So unlike previous games like Call of Duty Vanguard or the original Modern Warfare 2, you can only use a Kimbo on pistols. And what I'm going to be doing right now is going through the different Modern Warfare 3 pistols and talking about at what level you can actually unlock a Kimbo. And I am also going to be talking about the armory unlocks very quickly because it is pretty important. Now, starting right from the top, of course, we have the Core 45, which is kind of like the Glock semi-automatic pistol if we go over the weapon progression as you can see you are going to be unlocking akimbo at weapon level 21 so it's naturally the last attachment that you are going to be unlocking on this particular weapon and that's kind of the case for most pistols in the game so let's go ahead and talk about the renetti of course this is the renetti that we originally saw in modern warfare 2019 and if we go right over to the end here you can see the last attachment that you unlock at level 21 is of course going to be akimbo now if we head on over to the tire over here this one has a couple more levels and this is also the weapon that has snake shots just kind of a spoiler alert. You can see if we go right to the back here, Akimbo is actually, again, the last attachment that you are going to be unlocking, but this time it's going to be at weapon level 26. And then of course we have the WSP Stinger, which is the fully automatic machine pistol. And once again, if we head on over to weapon progression, you can see right at the end over here, it's actually going to be the second last attachment that you are going to be unlocking on this weapon. We are going to be getting Akimbo at weapon level 14, and at weapon level 15, you are going to be getting the last attachment. Now, as I alluded to a little bit earlier, naturally Actually, the weapon that you can use to actually get a snake shot is of course going to be the tire. It's kind of the 357 Magnum of Modern Warfare 3. It's the revolver. It's a very heavy hitting weapon and it's a lot of fun to use. But interestingly enough, of course, if you want to use a Kimbo, you have to use the rear grip attachment. But if you go over to the ammunition type, the absolute last ammunition type is actually the 12.7 by 55 millimeter snake shot. Yes. So of course, snake shots are back by name here in Modern Warfare 3. And of course, as it states, a small cartridge loaded with lead shot, snake shot ammo turns your revolver into a handheld shotgun. Now, this is where things get kind of interesting and it's worth talking about the armory unlocks because as you can see, if we go back over to this weapon and we go through the weapon progression, you can see, you know, we have like the hollow point rounds. We have the armor piercing rounds. But if you go through here, you'll notice that there are no snake shot rounds. And the reason for that is actually the armory unlock system. So basically, I won't get into too much detail with the armory unlock system because it can be kind of complicated. But simply put, the armory unlock system is when you play Modern Warfare 3 and you complete daily challenges and then once you complete all of your daily challenges and you get just wins in the game you are going to be getting these armory unlock tokens and with these armory unlock tokens you can use them to unlock things like weapons you can use them to unlock things like perks and even kill streaks and naturally you can also use them to unlock different attachments right now I'm in a private match but I'm going to be quickly going over to multiplayer just to use something as an example now as you can see I'm currently only level 8 however you are going to be unlocking the armory unlocks at level 25, which is a little bit odd. I will reserve my opinions about the armory unlock system later, but just being objective with this. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, that's how you unlock the armory unlock tokens, but then once you select what you want to unlock, you are then going to have to use a certain amount of armory unlock tokens on that particular reward. For example, some things you only have to use three of them, some rewards you have to use like eight different tokens on, which is a little bit odd, but again, I digress. And naturally, you can also use the armory unlock tokens to unlock different attachments earlier. So I'm just going to use this as an example. We have the striker over here. Of course, I'm weapon level 2. There are 23 levels for the striker. So naturally, I don't have every single attachment unlocked for it. But if we go over to the barrel as an example, you can see this one that I don't have unlocked. I can unlock it by leveling up my striker to weapon level 9. However, I can also use armory unlock tokens to unlock this particular attachment a little bit earlier. So that's what you have to do to unlock the snake shot, which does explain a lot because just using this as an example, the tire pistol itself has six different ammunition types that you can unlock just by leveling up the weapon. However, it has nine different ammunition types that you can use. So you can see the discrepancy in that is of course going to be through the armory unlock tokens. That's how you are going to be unlocking the snake shot. So just as a little bit of a rundown, of course, every single pistol in Modern Warfare 3, you can use akimbo. All you have to do is just level up that pistol and they are going to be unlocking the akimbo attachment. Or you can use your armory unlock token to unlock the akimbo attachment a little bit sooner. Now specifically for the tire, which is of course the weapon that you can use snake shots for, you're going to have to use your armory unlock token so that way you can unlock the snake shot attachment. And then once 
once you get all that together, you can use the Kimbo Snake Shots in Modern Warfare 3, just like it's Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 2019 or Warzone all over again. So that's why I will say it's kind of a little bit of an odd tutorial video because I can't just say, oh, we have to unlock it by completing this challenge because again, the Armory Unlock tokens are tied to the daily challenges, which change all the time. So with that being said, guys, that's going to effectively wrap up today's video. I hope you went on to enjoy it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like on it down below as well as be sure to subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications for all the latest and greatest Modern Warfare 3 content. So thank you once again for watching. I'm your host, Deeper Jungle. As always, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.